Separating short-billed dowagers from long-billed dowagers is really three identification problems in one. That's because the basic or non-breeding plumage of winter is quite different from the alternate or breeding plumage of summer. To confuse matters, young birds in their first fall have a third distinctive juvenile plumage. In early September, you could see birds in all three plumages in the same flock. Welcome. My name's Greg and I've been watching birds for over 50 years. I love the challenge presented by shorebirds and dowitchers are the perfect example of tricky shorebird identification. Despite their name, the bill length of these two species overlap and females have longer bills than males. So bill length is not diagnostic except at extremes. So let me give you an easy identification mark that you can use, but only in fall. A look at the tertials to see a quick and easy way to tell these birds apart. The tertials are wing feathers that cover the primaries and tail on the folded wing of dowagers. On juvenile short-billed dowagers, the black tertials have internal lines and swirls of a golden cinnamon color. This is a slam dunk field mark for identifying short-billed dowagers in the fall. However, if a dowager doesn't have internal swirls on its tertials, it may be an adult of either species or a juvenile long-billed. Compare the barred tertials of this long-billed dowager. So we need to use other field marks. How do you know you're looking at a dowager and not something else? Next, we'll look at the overall shape of dowagers, then we'll quickly eliminate a couple of similar species that might cause confusion. Then we'll get right into more ID tips that separate short-billed dowagers from long-billed dowagers, including listening to their diagnostic calls. At the end, we'll compare field marks side by side. Dowagers are much larger than peeps, like western sandpipers, However, they are surprisingly small compared to black-bellied plover. Dowichers are plump and often wade to their bellies in the water. They have a pale eyebrow. They use their very long, straight bills to feed by repeatedly jabbing their bills down into the mud. The feeding motion has been likened to a sewing machine. They also tend to feed and fly in flocks. Look for the long white stripe up their back and their barred black and white tail in flight. What similar species look like dowagers? Wilson snipe has striped head and white lines on the back. Snipe usually stay in the grassy edges of ponds and wet fields, but as you can see here, they sometimes wade out into deeper waters. They are usually seen singly and fly away alone, bursting into a zigzag flight following a rough call note. Stilt sandpiper has longer yellower legs and a shorter drooped bill. Stilt sandpipers also feed with that sewing machine motion. Because they have longer legs and shorter bills though, they tend to feed more tipped over with head lower. Stilt sandpipers are more common on the central flyaway than on the east or west coasts. Where can you find dowagers? Long-billed dowagers nest primarily in Alaska. They winter on both the Pacific and Atlantic coasts and inland where water remains unfrozen all winter. From the southern United States through Mexico. In spring, they are more common as migrants in the west. There are three populations of short-billed dowagers. The western subspecies breeds in Alaska and winters along the coast of southern California and western Mexico. A subspecies that nests in central Canada migrates through the interior and winters on the Gulf Coast. The subspecies breeding in eastern Canada winters along the southern Atlantic and West Indies. In spring, they are more common in the east. In the west, spring migrants are most likely right on the coastline. Short-billed dowagers migrate earlier in fall than long-billeds. Look for southbound adults in June and July. Juveniles migrate from early August into September. 
Both dowitchers are found on mudflats, shallow ponds, and estuary edges. Short-billed dowitchers are more likely to be found on tidal flats and even on ocean beaches. Northward migrating adult long-billed dowitchers start to attain breeding plumage in April. The new colorful feathers gradually replace the gray non-breeding plumage. Many of the wing feathers have black centers with white fringes, especially on the scapulars, the shoulder feathers. In May, the underparts are bright reddish with diagnostic black bars on the side of the breast. Many of the red underpart feathers are tipped with white. Notice another important feature. There are red feathers from the breast through the belly to the undertail coverts. The white tips on the back and breast feathers wear off during the breeding season in the Arctic. In the fall, southward migration, long-billed dowitchers are blacker above and more evenly red below. The white tips and many of the black bars have worn away from the breast, but notice that the belly is still red. Long-billed dowitchers are molt migrants. They leave their breeding grounds in breeding plumage in July and August, but stop their southward migration halfway. They stay for several weeks in favored wetlands and molt into their gray non-breeding plumage. During this molt, they look quite splotchy. Then, in late October or November, they continue their southward migration. When the molt to non-breeding plumage is complete, they are evenly gray. Note especially that the breast is smoothly gray. Juvenile dowagers remain on the breeding grounds for a few weeks after the adults have migrated south. Then they too migrate south starting in September. They often catch up with the now faded, worn, splotchy gray adults where their crisp, colorful juvenile plumage really stands out. Juvenile long-billed dowitchers are buffy across the breast, not red. The scapular feathers are black with cinnamon fringes. Of importance, the solidly gray tertials have thin, pale edges with no internal cinnamon swirls. Short-billed dowitchers in breeding plumage are paler than long-billed dowitchers. The tips have orange edges and less black in the centers, fewer white tips. The underparts are paler orange, not so deep red. The sides of the breast are spotted rather than barred. Diagnostically, eastern and western subspecies of short-billed dowagers have white bellies, especially between the legs. The subspecies in the center of the continent is more extensively orange below but shows fewer black marks on the breast. The gray, non-breeding plumage of short-billed dowagers is similar to long-billed dowager. The gray wash across the breast often shows dark bars and spots within. Instead of being smoothly gray, it's freckled. Juvenile short-billed dowagers are very colorful. The black feathers on the back, scapulars, and upper wing coverts are broadly edged with a bright honey orange color. Look at how this juvenile short-billed dowager stands out from this worn breeding adult long-billed dowager. And remember, the diagnostic mark is the internal cinnamon swirls within the black tertials. Both dowagers make soft generic piping and chirping calls. Long-billed dowagers especially are constantly twittering. The diagnostic call of long-billed dowagers is a sharp keek call. The diagnostic call of short-billed dowager is a mellow two-two call, similar to the call of lesser yellow legs, which often shares the same ponds. These calls are often given in flight. Sadly though, short-billed dowagers may fly away silently. How about a side-by-side -side review? The breeding or alternate plumage of long-billed dowager has blackish upper parts with narrow white wing edges. It has reddish breast and belly and black bars on the side of the breast. The breeding or alternate plumage of short-billed dowager has paler upper parts with broad cinnamon edges. It has a pale orange breast and a white belly.
there are black spots on the side of the breast. The non-breeding or basic plumage of long-billed dowitcher is smoothly gray across the breast. The non-breeding or basic plumage of short-billed dowitcher is freckled and spotted across the gray breast. The long-billed dowitcher juvenile plumage in fall is gray across the breast. The wings are rather plain with rusty scalloped edges on the scapulars. The tertials are plain gray with thin pale edges. Short-billed dowitcher plumage in fall is buffy across the breast. The wing feathers are broadly marked with bright golden orange. The tertials are black with rusty internal swirls. Click on this playlist for more bird identification videos. Thank you so much for watching.